Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel and welcome back to another Let's Play franchise mode. This is all pre-recorded, so don't worry, I don't have access anymore, unfortunately. We're back at another episode and we are growing. We have 50 animals in our zoo right now and a lot of different species, so I'm really excited for that. Our money is doing really well. We have $424,000 right now. And I do have a lot of conservation credits, guys. That's because I also have my other park and I really needed the Bengal tigers. So people during my live stream were buying animals for me. Super expensive uh, because I had so many conservation credits. I can't do anything about it, but it does mean that we are able to continue our series with some really awesome animals now. So yeah, a little bit of cheating here and there, but it is what it is. Hopefully you guys still enjoy the series. Please hit that like button if you like this video and this series. And of course, subscribe if you already haven't. Let's go. We have a pronghorn. No, not a pronghorn. We have a sable antelope being pregnant the game is starting to be a little bit laggy so we're going to try and do our best to make it as much fun as possible for you guys to watch i think you are glitching through a fence here oh okay never mind uh you are not pregnant simba so are you pregnant yes you are so we're soon being able to see a very cute sable antelope baby and i'm really excited for that we still have a lot of stuff to do, as always, just to mention, this is not being creative in our zoo. This is definitely all about the gameplay and making sure that our animals are happy, getting babies and those kind of things, so yeah. We're going to combine our creative mode and the gameplay mode when the game will launch, and I'm super excited for that, so hopefully you guys are too. We have our lovely tapers. Hopefully they will be able to get some more babies very soon. That will be really amazing. So I think it is time to get some really awesome animals in. We do have the... Oh, you're so adorable. Look at you. Are you dead? Oh, phew, you're not. Why are there flies here? Ooh, yikes. There is some dirt here. I think you should do your job and clean it up really quickly because it's not really healthy for them. We can maybe ask to call a keeper in to make sure that they will clean this up. Hopefully that's not a small bug, but yeah, we will see about that. I'm still waiting for our beautiful warthogs to get some babies in. They are really hard to get some babies, but I like the challenge. I like the challenge a lot. It's 86 welfare. How high are your chances right now? 47, we have a 30% bonus. So. Um, I'm not really sure if this is like a bug or they have both a really good fertility percentage So I'm not really sure what that is about. We just have to wait and see 47% So hopefully we will see some babies very soon. What animal shall we get? We also we have three stars right now So that is going really well. We need to do some marketing I think that is something we should definitely look into because I haven't really check that out finances oh we have some research completed okay so we have poster campaigns we have cereal box adverts we have newspaper adverts oh my god so many tv commercials how much do we okay we are having four thousand i don't know if this is per second or how per what you get this that's not really clear to me but I don't think the 5,000 one is really the best thing to afford. Online campaign viral videos. I feel like we should go for that. Just because I'm a YouTuber and I make videos, I feel like viral video definitely fits. So we're going to just begin the campaign and see how that will go. We right away got two and a half stars, which is actually really good. We have injured animals. Oh no, the African wild dog? Oh wait, they probably are an adult now. So we have to make sure, let's pause the game for just a second. We're gonna check if the African wild dog. So we have three. 
Hmm, no, we already put the other one up for adoption. I'm not sure if I did that while recording. It might have been off camera. So we have, yeah, because this is their baby and I also had a male baby and I think I trade it with the male one and we just keep the the female one just for now to have them in a nice group but I don't really get it why you guys are injured are you fighting because I kept the baby that might be a thing though that you are trying uh, to fight for dominancy I don't know how you say that but you guys probably all know what I mean so that could definitely be a thing they're probably fighting because of that so we have to call a vet are you injured too I think the other one is injured so that should be you Okay, a vet has been called already. I think that is the case. Is that ruining your welfare? Not really. No, everything is good. Are you still happy? No, you're not happy. Let's check the other. You are bored of your toys. So the chewing toy and the large ball. Over time, toys provide less enrichment as animals become bored with them. Removing the toy for a while, time will allow its novelty to return. So the chew toy, where is the chew toy? And the large ball, so we need to remove both of them. Is there meat on the floor here? Oh, jeez. That doesn't really look tasty. Okay, so the large ball and the chewing toy. I'm not sure where it is, where you guys are hiding it, but let me try and put in some different toys. So the chewing toy, no go. Let's go for some sprinklers. That's already good because the chewing, yeah, well, I don't know where the chewing toy is, but if we would see it, we would remove it. It's maybe bugged out or somewhere hidden in the bushes. That could also definitely be a thing. So hopefully they are not that bored anymore. Okay, let's have a look. What kind of animal shall we get in our zoo? We have the tortoise, we have tapirs, the Bengal tiger. Yeah, we just did a speed build of a Bengal tiger, including an underwater viewing. I really hope you guys liked it. So you guys have a little bit of an idea when I'm recording this when my video went up right now and this video will be uploaded very much later and if you haven't seen it yet i highly re recommend you to check out that video and uh, the bengal tiger is pretty expensive but we're going to work with it so let's have a look because these guys don't really have that great genes you have zoomania and uh, we have a female now so we only want to get a male in so i think we want to oh that's really bad Mm, I think we're gonna go, go for you, Cow Corp. Uh, excellent, it worked pretty well. That went really fast. Where shall we build that habitat? I do feel, since we're going to the left side, I said the last episode too, we should maybe expand a little bit to this area. So I'm gonna go and create a habitat for them right over here.
So I did do a little bit of rock work, not too much because, well, I don't have time, but I want to. Sable antelope has given birth. Okay, okay, we j we definitely have to check that out. Where is the baby? Is that you? Oh my goodness, you are so beautiful. You are so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. You are so pretty. I like the color. It's lighter than the mom and dad. Like the dad is like really dark. And then you have the mom being darker brown. And then you are light brown. I love it. That's amazing. You're so cute. Look at her playing with her toy. <laughs> It's so adorable to just watch these animals do their thing. I love it. But you are absolutely so adorable. What is your name? Salehe. Well, welcome, Salehe. Welcome to the zoo. We're really happy with you. So hopefully we are getting more visitors in our zoo now because of you you are absolutely adorable bengal tigers guys are they happy with their habitat i hope they are they can do a little swim you're using your rubbing pad you like that i love the sounds the chuffing it's so it's so beautiful and i just really love it how realistic that is is there a, is is he laying down here? Are you sleeping there instead of like being in your in your cave? Don't you died of old age? Did we seriously? <laughs> I did not look at the age. That is a pretty dumb. That is actually pretty dumb. I am so sorry. You're the female. Oh my goodness. You pro you guys probably all saw it and I totally missed out on the age. I am so sorry this has happened to you. I mean, seriously, is there bone sticking out here? That's really bad. That is really bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, we need another female in. It's gonna cost us. It's going to cost us conservation credits, guys, but it's my mistake. It is what it is, okay. Only 9.9? .9? Is that the old... Oh. You bring babies, okay? How old is the male one then? Oh, we have a scratching pole. I'm really curious if they will use it because I have not seen that yet. Where is he? Wait, I didn't check if they are able to jump out. Where is the Bengal tiger? Oh my goodness. Where are you? Anai. Oh, there you are. Let's just quickly check if they are able to jump out. No, they're not. I was afraid that they might be able to jump from here to there, but it's all good. It's all good. How old are you? 5.6 years old. That's okay. Uh, looking injured? You're injured? Oh, please don't, don't die on me. Please do not die on me. So what we need to check, they have a 94% welfare and their habitat heart shelter. Is it too small? Let's have a look for that because maybe I can really easily change that so what I could do is just make it a little bit wider to see if anything will change and make sure they have enough space to just lay around here and hopefully the game won't crash I have a, I had several crashes while just replacing rocks or moving rocks so i'm not really sure if that will happen again but i think we will be good maybe this will already change it i have no idea are you now oh you see it already changed to 89 percent, which is amazing so 100 percent right over here the coverage is good you're in a lockdown why get out of there mangle tiger is injured you are at the vet right now look at you we don't have a injured Bengal tiger anymore, but we do have pronghorns being uh, having a low welfare, meaning there are probably too many in here. Stress. Animals do stress and trying to hide. Okay, so you're trying to hide. We still don't have the research done for the fencing. We should definitely check that out. And oh my goodness, there's so much research completed. 
This is incredible. 22 items over six species. That is incredible. And they keep doing their research, which is amazing. I really like it that there has been an update. We are researching the Bengal Tiger 2. Now, I am really curious what their chance is of getting offspring. We're gonna check you. Why do you have those those plus plus? It's probably someone putting it on the market with like breeding and stuff. Uh, compare mates. So, 0% chance? Why is it so low? Like really low. We definitely need to do a lot of research to make sure that we can get some cubs. But yeah, we have to wait and see guys. It's going to be very challenging. Money is going well still. How is our marketing doing? Marketing is doing well. Conservation and education can be higher. Inspector is quite happy with us. Four stars and animal rating has four stars too. And the guest rating three and a half. How is our marketing doing right now? Marketing. We didn't got any loans so far, which I'm really happy for. And I don't really think we will ever need it. Is our marketing? Oh, commercials. Okay. That one. Can we have another one? I wonder. We have more than 2,200 guests in right now. Online campaign. Goopy video. Comedy show. Family hour. I think we should do marketing of family hour. And our marketing has jumped to five stars right now. That is incredible. I'm really happy with how our zoo is coming along right now and how many animals we have. We have so much diversity right now. So did we miss anything in our timeline? The Bengal tiger died, given birth, has arrived, has arrived. Pronghorn is pregnant. We have more ostrich babies. Oh my goodness. It's, it's getting quite busy in here, doesn't it? We have two male adult ostriches. This one has a golden rating and I'm thinking to trade with you. I'm not putting in too much attention right now into the breeding, but we will definitely get back to that in the when the game will launch and like the inbreeding is like very bad for your immunity and stuff but we don't you don't really feel it right now but that will definitely be a thing once the game will launch so it's really important to look after that you don't get inbreeding because it's really bad for the statistics of your animals your their genes we do have a lot of zebras right now can we rehome you probably no we can still trade with you so we're going to put you up in the market too i think that's it we have three female ostriches right now which we might want to consider putting one up in the market too 16.8 years old are you still oh you get pretty old 10 and we have one of 5.2 I think we're gonna trade with you. You have a golden rating too. We have a dead animal again? No! A wolf? Oh no, they died of old age. I'm so sure of it. Oh no. <gasps> you died of old age. Oh my goodness. You did not get any offspring and you are so sad laying here and crying. Oh my god, this is so sad right now, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, died of old age. How old are you? You're also very old. So I think we're going to leave you and let you be alone for a while. And then we must get two new timber wolves in. This is actually really sad. A pronghorn has given birth. You see how things can change so fast in our zoo, right? One dies and one gives birth and it's all life, unfortunately. What is that yellow thingy? It's a hamburger. How did a hamburger came into this habitat? Are you kidding me? How is it possible that there is a hamburger? I am absolutely surprised about this. What is going on here? Is this seriously a thing that they throw trash into the habitat? I mean, that would be seriously amazing if that is the case i mean like very realistic aspect of the game a hamburger guys are you going to clean that oh you did oh my goodness it's not a bug it's not a bug why don't i hear any sounds by the way Ooh, that's why he actually cleaned the hamburger i'm sorry i turned off the sound volume unfortunately but you guys saw what happened right 
This is incredible. I love that. That is amazing if that is part of the management aspect. That people can throw in food to the animals. I mean, you, you have that in real life. Like, people being dumped, throwing food in a habitat. That is crazy. How are you guys doing right over here? You're the daughter. The daughter. And you are an adult and you guys don't have babies. You guys do not have babies. You were really quick the first time. Why is it red? Is that because of two animals being in here? So we do have to trade with the girl. I'm so sorry, Lulu. I'm so sorry, Lulu. I think this is going to change it. Oh, infertile? Why are you infertile now? I did not give you guys contraception. No, I didn't. You're an elderly. Oh my goodness. So then there is that. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. I am very sorry about this. I'm going to put back the daughter. Move a new African wild dog male. I think I'm going for Musat. And move you to this habitat. So hopefully, that will work out and now we can put up all these guys up for adoption i think this was a nice new episode i really hope you guys enjoyed do let me know in the comment section of course and leave a like at the video if you did enjoy and i really hope to see you guys in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys